I'd say Kona wind days are some of my favorite times of year. It's so beautiful when you come down the road from Haiku. It's just all clear and the plumes of spray like blowing off the back of the waves. It's, it's a stunning day in every sense. Um, that particular day was uh, extra spectacular because the wind was blowing about 400 knots. <laughs> Regularly at Hope Keeper, it's light winds, and uh, in the past, the heavier guys don't get as many waves. But when it gets windy, it uh, sorts the men out from the boys. <laughs> and I was able to get lots of waves, which was a good thing. The corner days on Maui are always something incredibly special like you watch out for them you you check the weather forecast you see corners are coming up you check the swell swell is coming up and then basically on the day you need to stay down there the entire time because you need to get it just right down the line wave so first of all you get the first waves and you kind of line up further down just to feel it out make a few turns but then you go deeper and deeper because with those side offshore winds you can cover a lot of space with a lot of speed and sometimes you get you get actually faster than you really want to go I'm naturally a goofy foot, that means my, my right foot is always forward in, in, in my surfing stance. So uh, riding a wave as a goofy foot um, in, in, on the Kona de lanes is, is front side, which is the more natural way for me to ride a wave. And it's always been over years my most favorite condition. One particular day uh, was the windiest Kona winds I've ever sailed. It was uh, at some point we had only the Nash team outside with one kiter and Michi Schweiger and Robbie and myself, and uh, that was a very very special moment.
Um, where'd you start with Robbie Nash? He's, uh, he's pretty much a legend, uh, the longest standing sort of character in the sport. He's uh, more or less defined where the sport's come from, where it's at and where it's going to, uh, with the help of all the people around him obviously, but um, an incredible sailor, an incredible representative and ambassador for the sport and uh, a great guy to look up to and uh, aspire to be like. So I'm proud to be uh, associated with, with his company and everything that it represents. At the end of the day, we might be based on Maui, which is windsurfing paradise, windsurfing Mecca, but this is a sport that you can do anywhere in the world. You don't need a lot of wind, you don't need waves. Uh, the equipment has come such a long way in the last few years that uh, in pretty average conditions, you can have really a lot of fun on a windsurfer. You gotta try it.